Today, we're gonna to compare one of the most expensive phones, the Apple iPhone XS Max versus this, the Sony Xperia 10 Plus. The question is, can this stand up to the iPhone? We're about to find out. I'm here in Greenwich, the center of time, and I'm gonna take some photos for you guys around here. Let's go. So let's kick this off with a landscape shot. And this was taken from Greenwich Park, looking at the Docklands area, way, way back there in the distance. And you can see there's a real difference here in the amount of warmth in the picture. On the left-hand side, definitely a warmer picture. The greens are slightly darker. The blues are slightly darker. On the right-hand side, a much brighter picture, great amount of detail. And way back there in the distance, the Docklands area looks pretty clear as well. Both phones are doing good in detail, but there's a definite difference in the color balance here. Now let's do the two times optical zoom on both phones. And again, you see the same color schemes carrying over that darker green, darker blue, and generally a brighter picture on the right-hand side. Both are doing fantastic here when it comes to details using the optical zoom. Which one do you prefer better here? And now let's test the maximum zoom on both phones. And you can see straight away that the Xperia doesn't go quite as far as the iPhone. But I think Sony have done a good job of knowing what their phone is capable of because at its maximum zoom, you're actually getting quite a clear photo there. Really sharp edges around the buildings, a really great amount of detail. On the right hand side, the iPhone has the advantage of going a bit further and you can really see how much further based off of that building in the foreground. But the trade off here is when you go that far, you lose some of the sharpness. So look at the buildings in the back. There's a bit of blur around the edges. The colors aren't quite as nice as they are on the Xperia. So this was quite an interesting one. Which phone do you think is better here when it comes to maximum zoom? So you're probably wondering, Troy, why the hell are you taking a photo of your shoe? Well, it's for a good reason. It's to show you the amount of detail the phones can pick up. So I zoomed in in post so you can see how much detail the sensors can pick up. And you can see a real difference here, especially on my sock there. On the right hand side, you can see a bit more of the fibers. And on the trainer, you can see the stitching pretty close on both phones. But look at the foreground of this picture and you can see the sort of threads in the trousers I'm wearing as well, a bit clearer on the iPhone. So I have to say the iPhone probably wins this one you might disagree, and if you do, leave a comment below this video. So here's a photo I took to demonstrate high dynamic range, shooting directly into the sunlight through these trees. And what you can see straight away is on the Xperia, the sun is blowing out the whites just a bit more than the iPhone. And as a result, you're actually getting a better dynamic range on the iPhone as well. So you're seeing these really deep blacks in the shadows, quite vibrant colors on the leaves, Whereas on the left hand side on the Xperia, the whites are slightly blowing out all across the photo. But when it comes to the colors of the roses there up in the trees, deeper reds on the right hand side, a good amount of color on the Xperia as well. If I was to put this on Instagram, which one would you like more? Let me know in the comments below this video. Now let's move on to the next one. So the day after my trip to Greenwich, I actually decided to visit Camba Sands, which is a beach that we actually have in England. Yes, England has beaches, but who the hell wants to see them, right? <laughs> no, really, they're not that bad. But this shell caught my eye, actually, the way the sun was shining through the inside of the shell out of the back. And I actually took this photo to demonstrate colors. So on the left-hand side, you can see the oranges really shining through from the thinnest part of the shell. On the right-hand side, we're seeing a much more balanced photo, brighter sand color. If you look at the sand on the Xperia 10, you're getting those darker shades, but generally speaking, I actually prefer the photo on the left because of the way the light was shining through that shell and that's what caught my eye and made me take this photo. Both have great detail here but I actually prefer the photo on Xperia 10 Plus. Let me know what you think. So here's a photo shot in portrait mode and straight away you notice much sharper edges on the iPhone, deeper greens, a much sharper picture in general around the subject of the photo and more blur in the background. The only criticism here is the amount of greens you're seeing on the sand itself. Whereas if you look at the left hand side, the sand color is a bit more accurate, but the subject of the photo is definitely more blurry. The edges aren't as sharp and there's less amount of blur in the background of the photo. So I have to go with the iPhone on this one. Now let's have a look at some slow-mo footage on both phones.
here's the last photo I took with the tide out and the sun starting to get low in the sky. And you can see there on the left hand side, it's actually a really nice photo. It looks like I've put a filter on that, but I actually haven't. That's shooting directly into the sunlight. And just the way the camera adjusted to that amount of light has darkened the picture in general. Whereas on the right hand side, the iPhone is handling that dynamic range a bit better and you're getting a brighter photo. But I think if I put both of these photos onto Instagram without adding any filters, the Xperia 10 would probably win. But if you look at the iPhone photo, I believe that dynamic range is just a bit better. You're not losing as much detail in the distance. So anyway, next stop, Central London. Right, so how is the Xperia 10 holding up against the iPhone so far? I'm up here in central London now, sun's getting real low. About to do some night photography for you guys. Make sure you're using the poles up in the top right corner as well. And guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, Hulk smash that subscribe button. Anyway, let's crack on with these night photos. So while I was waiting for the sun to go down, I headed over to Buckingham Palace and it was actually the Queen's birthday that day. So you can see here the sun was getting much lower in the sky. And on the left hand side, you can see the sort of darkness on the building. The iPhone on the other hand is doing a great job of adjusting and actually showing a really bright picture there. So not much is lost in that picture in terms of details on the left hand side because of the darkness and the difference in black level, you might be losing some details there in the darkness. But both photos are pretty good. Now let's move on to a portrait selfie. And you can see here, this was taken in pretty much the same place. On the left hand side, I look white as a ghost but you can see the difference in the lens technology that the two selfie cameras use. You've got more detail there on the Xperia photo. On the right hand side, on the iPhone photo, I look like I have a really good tan, which is cool. And also the background is definitely more blurry. So again, it's a bit of a trade off. You get a wider angle there on the Xperia. You get a slightly tighter shot on the iPhone and more blur. I know a lot of people criticize the sort of beauty effects that the iPhone adds without giving you the option to change it, but I actually prefer the iPhone photo here, I think. If you disagree, let me know why in the comments below. So here's another quick shot I took outside Buckingham Palace, directly up into the sky. The sun was starting to set, and on the left-hand side, you can see that color difference again. More oranges on the Xperia 10, a cooler, slightly more blue shot on the iPhone. On the Lion, the black levels are pretty close and there's quite a lot of detail on both of these photos. I actually prefer the gold color coming from the Xperia photo than I do on the iPhone, but you might disagree again. Let me know if you do. And now let's move on to some video tests. So this photo was shot over the River Thames towards the Shard there. You can see it in the right hand side of the photo and it was pretty dark at this point. And what you can see here is a much darker photo on the iPhone and a much brighter photo on the Xperia. If you look at the buildings right there in the background on the right hand side, you can see they had this kind of lighting effect on the sides of the buildings. And actually I think the Xperia is doing a better job of picking up that lighting. Whereas on the right hand side, you can see it's kind of a matted color in terms of detail and sharpness, maybe you'd lean towards the iPhone here, but when it comes to night photography, you do kind of want to get a brighter photo. It just adds a bit of drama to it. So I'm actually really impressed with the 10 plus here. So here's a photo of St. Paul's Cathedral and both photos look really great. It actually almost doesn't look real there in the photo. On the left hand side, look at the amount of blue coming from the sky and I really like that in that photo. On the right hand side, yes, you're getting great details, but there is a slightly green hue to the photo. On the left hand side, I would say the Xperia 10 is slightly more accurate when it comes to the colors and the way it's boosting that blue in the background there is just adding to the overall picture itself. So I think this one has to go to the Xperia 10 Plus. So that's it for this camera comparison. If you guys enjoyed this one, check out this other one I shot in Dubai and this other one that I made at the London Comic Con. And if you wanna see another Xperia 10 video, hit the thumbnail on the bottom left corner. And if you just subscribed, that means you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So don't be late.